So a new chapter and we're going to create a new document. This time it's a print project and it's going to contain 12 artboards that's intended as a promotional piece. And um, so in, with that in mind, we'll go to the far menu and choose new. And then when the dollar box opens up on screen, of course, our primary concern is print output. So I'm going to left click on print from the headings across the top. It then shows us some of the blank presets for those page sizes. If you don't see the page size that you're looking for, then you can, of course, click on view all presets and you'll find some further page presets inside of there. Now, we're going to choose A4. I'm going to left click on that and that will make the thumbnail for A4 highlight in this interface color blue. Just note that lower down there are free templates. So these are Adobe's uh, stock templates from its own Adobe stock website. And so anything that appears in this new document dialog box is free for you to download, uh, providing of course that you are a Creative Cloud subscriber. I'll scroll back up to the top and then I'll insert my cursor into what is really the document name field. And I'll name this document posters underscore template. I'm going to leave the width and height set to A4, which is 210 millimeters wide by 297 tall. I will leave them set to portrait orientation uh, and then just making sure that because I'm creating a document that is A4, then the uh, the units of measurement will be millimeters. Uh, of course, if you're creating a document that's intended for US output or you are working in the US, then it's highly likely that you would pick something like a letter in there as opposed to A4 and then the measurements will be shown in inches instead. Now, in terms of number of artboards, I'm just going to put a two after that to make 12 artboards. They are going to be printed out, so we do need to increase the bleed around the outside to three millimeters. If that was in the US, that would be 0.125 inches. Down at the bottom, notice that the color mode is set to CMYK because again, Adobe is trying to steer us into a direction of good decision making. So the colors will usually need to be CMYK for print purposes. And then there's something here called raster effects. So when your uh, artwork is turned into a PDF potentially to be sent to a print provider, anything that is or has to be converted to pixels because of effects like drop shadows and things like that. Sometimes it has to be converted to pixels. It will try and make sure that the quality is of at least 300 pixels per inch. And that's for print quality. And then with that done, we can go down to the bottom and we can click on create. And then Illustrator provides all 12 of those artboards in this grid layout. Now, before we start adding any artwork to our document, there's a few things that we need to do in terms of organizing it. And that starts with layers. And we'll take a look at that next. 